Hey everybody, Tag, Life Done Free. Hey, uh, it's been a little while since I've done some homesteading videos, so I'm gonna do a couple of them in a row. Um, that just kind of the things that are going on in the homestead. B had the opportunity to have um, one of her friends down, and so they spent a bunch of time in the garden with the potatoes and with the bees and, you know, lollygagging and, you know, finding ways to look busy but not actually doing anything. So if you want to see uh, B and one of her friends on vacation the entire time, you know, come on, let's check it out. Silver Lining said she would help me harvest my potatoes before she left. So I'm trying to load up the Kubota to get up to the garden to get that done. Look. So here's the crates we're going to put the potatoes in. The fork she picked to the sh that she chose to use. The tent that she found that she, uh, nice, nice score that she, <laughs> how'd you get this tent? Out of the trash. She picked it out of the trash. We put it up and it's perfectly, perfectly usable. Uh, might need the weed eater. Got some more crates. Might need a different tool. So I want to grab everything I need beforehand. Um, so I don't have to come back. Got my, got my Kubota loaded and my, oh, something. I got my Kubota loaded and I'm headed up to harvest. Already have the wagon up there to put everything in. So here we go. You know, I think it's absolutely amazing that there's so many things to be done on the homestead. There's so much work to be done. And yet what they figure out how to do is play in the dirt. Let me talk about vacation, right? I mean, they're making, you know, dirt castles and mud pies and, you know, sitting kumbaya and rubbing the dirt on each other's backs. There's something weird going on here. Hard to see her down there in the field of weeds. But Silver Lining is down there harvesting potatoes. Helping me out, trying to get one last harvest in before she heads off back home to tend to her own harvesting needs. How you doing over here? I'm getting it. I'm slow, but I'm getting it. Are you mad at me yet? Oh, furious. Now what? <laughs> Putting you to work, making you, no. making you crawl around on your hands and knees and get my hands dirty. Pull potatoes up. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fork. That, it has your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Literally. This fork has your name on it. Your name is on this fork. How hard is it to use that? Not really very hard. Your soil's really good, so it's not like it would be at my place where there's rock you're digging into. Oh, really? Yeah. It's it's rocky at your house? Pretty rocky. Is that pretty? It's Arkansas. Oh, yep. Arkansas's rock. A lot of rock. Oh my Pretty gosh, I keep tripping. Here. Huh? I keep tripping. Can't really see the potato. There you go. Few. We're about. I don't know. How far in are you? What'd you say that is? Five feet? On one row? Yeah, but it's only been a couple of potatoes. I've, I've only ducked like one hill, so, or one potato hill so far. I'm in the second hill now. There she goes. Look at that. That's a good tricep. Uh, I'm going to use it. Tricep exercise there. Some of these potatoes have grown on top or just under the hay. They'll on top of the good, soil. Make good cedars. Okay. Unless you like green beans and potatoes boiled together, which I do. Yeah, with so some these onion. These little ones, that's what I, I would probably, me, that's what I'd use them for. And of course, my bigger ones, I would uh, eat or use for seed. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. We're going to harvest the potatoes and then I'll cure them for a few days and then process them. Here's some coriander, Buffalo Seed Company. I need to come down and gather before it 
falls on the ground. <laughs> okay. Did you see my shirt in my video? This sucks. Put this in the wagon. Yep. <clears throat> Tractor, wagon, Kubota, whatever you want to call it. Whatever. What are you doing? We. A colony collapse. Not colony collapse. They have scound. You want to come take a look real quick? We were over in the bees today and this had no bees in it. This is what we found. These are the space hives. We call them space hives, but they're the better bee um, lysen hives. They have the latch kits on them, the ventilation holes. Anyways, this is what we found. Lots of comb, but it's absolutely empty. There's no honey or anything in this comb. These guys have abscound. And I'm trying to figure out why. So we were gonna pull this apart and look inside and see what's going on. I have not been in this hive all year. I should have brought that, that thing. <laughs> so you can see right here there's cobwebs. Can you see that? Those cobwebs tell me that there were moths in here. Probably still are because they don't just go away. They're consuming the wax. So I'm going to scrape all of these frames because once you have something like that in there, you don't want to reuse it. I'm gonna pull all these out, scrape them all down. And then put the wax in the compost pile so the bees can, or so the chickens can rummage through them. It's sideways. So when you t set this on that side like that, a lot of times um, it makes a liquidy mess. <laughs> Do they make a moth trap? Yeah. Um, oh, there's a cockroach. And that's normal, cockroaches. Yes, there's, oftentimes you'll see cockroaches in your hives. Oh, look. That's uh, a larvae. Larvae, Mar yeah. Moth larvae, I guess. Yep, right inside that cobweb. Look at this, here's a whole bunch. So this is the bee bread. See those larvae, see that? There's pollen. See that, the, the yellow stuff? Mm -hmm. See them? And that's called bee bread? Yes. That's not caused by the moths, that's something that the bees do? Oh yeah, the bee, you can eat the bee bread before the moths are on there. Um, it's what they make. Oh, look at that. Wow. So this is a, this is a plastic foundation. So see how they already has the little, the little comb mm -hmm. designs on it. So they can just build right off of that. That's a plastic foundation or plastic frame wax foundation. This is a wooden frame. Oh no, that is not. I thought that was gonna be a queen cell, but it is not. This is drone brood, which is a little bit thicker. So they basically just left the carbohydrates and took all the honey, left the pollen. All right, well. Good morning, Freedom Friends. Good morning. B, life done free. 
silver lining. With life done free. With life done free. <laughs> Gonna live a life done free. Learning to live a life done free. <laughs> we just got back from the bees. We did a bee inspection this morning and we had to scrape a little bit of honey of, off around the lids. So I'm gonna show you what we are, what I've got her working on. <laughs> Cause my hands are still clean. <laughs> So what do you got here, Lisa? So basically this is, all of this batch was what we pulled off of the cones, I mean off the uh, hives. And so now we're going in and debugging it and separating the honeycomb. What honey. are you putting over there? What is that? Those what are, are those? Those are the live ones. They're still kicking, so I'm trying to keep them kicking and <laughs> so they can do their thing. <laughs> She's saving the bees' lives. I'm saving their lives. Look at them. So they're covered in honey and they are going to fly away. So changed. one of these, what some of this is dripping into the, from the colander, the honey is dripping into the colander, into the pan. And she is going through here and finding propolis. Yep, propolis. We got propolis, and she's putting that in this pile here. Here's some wax that we're going to keep separate. And then these pieces are still plentiful full of honey, but yet comb. So these, this will be, this could be used for um, snacking, chewing on. You could... You said made like gum, right? You yeah. Could you chew on it like gum? Chew it like gum. You could squeeze the honey out and then put, just render the wax again. Uh, or render the wax with the rest of the wax. Um, but so these bees that are flying around here did not, did not come home with us, but they have found us since we've been here. They, there was one and then three and now there's several you can see there oh, 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 oh. I might be gonna get spawned let's don't get that on tv <laughs> you getting stung i said i might get stung i said let's don't get that recorded <laughs> so i brought this out thinking that i don't know if the pieces were big enough we could score them to get the wax out because if we set them just if we set these chunks up on top of the box or on top of the colander the wax will drain into the pan sorry for some reason that dog is now barking let me lift up that colander real quick and see if what if there honey how much honey's in there oh yeah oh there's quite a bit yeah just coming nice. off of, just coming off of this that we would have just thrown away if um well we don't really throw anything away here right that's all right use it all this is so cool what do you think of today's bee experience have you been in a beehive before uh, not like this it was, um, I liked it. <laughs> I like to listen to the sounds of the, that the bees make as they're being asked to move. <laughs> and then how they're calm at one time and you can just tell the different sounds that they make. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't get stung in case anybody's curious were yet. You, yet. <laughs> were you panicky? Not at all. <clears throat> were you scared? Not at all. I wasn't. I, um... You know, I have honeybees. I'm in the garden, so I'm always around bees anyway, so they don't... I just kind of figure if you don't bother them, they won't bother you as far as um, stinging. But that minute you show that panic in yourself, they're going to pick up on it and go with it. So. so even these ones flying around you right now aren't bothering you? Not at all. Nope. Have you licked your finger yet? I want to so bad, but, I, <laughs> but I'm touching all of this honey, so I'm like, nope, don't lick it yet. Wait until I get to the end. 
<laughs> There'll be plenty of licking. Licking later. Like they're even inside the bag that we tried to, that we brought the... Oh, goodness. That we brought the... All of it, right? Wax home with. Yeah. Typically when we go to the hives, I take a bucket so that if there's any of this that is in the lid that I don't want to leave, I can scrape it out and put it in a bucket and bring it home with me. But I didn't have a bucket, so I had to use a gallon-sized Ziploc bag that had... It had something in it. Fuel. Starter fuel. What I call it? Smoker fuel. Smoker fuel. Is, was, I had a bag of smoker fuel in that. And I took it out and repurposed it for this. So... There was no fuel in the bag. No, it was cotton and yeah. the smoker fuel is like cotton debris. Um, that you put inside your smoking smoker tool to make smoke to let the bees know you're coming in. See, it's still even dripping out of the... Yeah, I need a... Well, I think I've got it clean enough here that we can put back in there if you want to. Is that what you want to do? Or Yeah. I got just one, a couple of um, The ones here. that we don't want to keep... The ones that you want to keep that you're like, hey, I want to take that home and snack on that or gift that to somebody or just use it some other how. You can keep those out separate. But then everything else I think we'll take and just set in there mm -hmm. and maybe set into... At first I thought the greenhouse, but I think the greenhouse is going to get too hot. So maybe yeah. we could just set it in the kitchen okay. and let um, the rest of whatever is going to fall out of them fall out and okay. then into the... So I'm leaving this here. Into the colander. Do you notice how some of these are kind of like a tannish color and then yeah. some of these are like real dark, the different colors of the of the wax. And that's just whatever whatever they're getting into. Um, the different flowers and pollen and such are different colors and that's what changes the colors of the of the honey and the wax. Um, they're not making wax right now. We're going into fall. So whatever we don't use, like this right here, we'll take up to the garden and I'll set this up there. And like the honey that's down inside that bowl, they'll clean out this bag that we brought. So this bag that we had the honey in, we had all this in this Ziploc bag and it started to rip. So I had a trash bag in the car. I just laid it out and set that bag on top of it. So this bag has honey on it, that bag has honey on it, and we'll set them all up at the greenhouse, or at the garden, and then these bees that are swarming down here will leave and head up there so that we don't have to, because we don't want to encourage the bees <laughs> at, the, at the back door. I've done that before, that was not, that was not smart. I had a hive that I thought, oh, they'll, they'll clean it out. And not thinking that, yeah, they'll clean it out, but they also, that also encourages them to come to where you have it, so. And I get to learn from your mistakes as yes. you're teaching me yes. today. Yes, that's the, that's, I think that's the whole, like, what drives us. The whole, the, the point to it all, because, um, there's so much that goes on that we ask other people to do for us, like electricity, food, water. And when we take that responsibility on ourselves, there's a lot that you can do <laughs> yeah. wrong <laughs> or not, not as convenient, not as efficient, not as safe. And so I think that helps when we can learn from others' mistakes. Look, at, there's three right there. Mm. I think it's amazing. You sit there and watch how they use their their tongues, their yes. Pub, what is it pubuscus? It's something. I don't know that part yet. <laughs> I've let yet to learn that. We're getting more though, so we've, I got to get moving yep. here. Okay, I need so to quit stalling. ten minutes. Sorry, chit chatting. Two. B out. Silver lining out. Have a wonderful day, freedom friends. Try to live a little bit freer today than you did yesterday. Hold the line, don't give an inch. <laughs> you said it. Yeah.
This is what you don't want to see. See that? All right. I had hive traps in. I had beetle traps in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 